Alright guys, what is up? And I just got back home from the midnight release of Modern Warfare 3 and uh, it was a long wait and it was a cold night out here in Canada and uh, the polar bears were just chilling with me in line and uh, <clears throat> it was worth it because uh, as of right now, um, even though I've only had the game for less than 24 hours, it seems like a really fun game and I really enjoy it so far. Um, you know, I haven't really noticed a problem yet besides uh, the need to fix the party system. And what I mean by that is where you go into a game and you try and bring your friends in the, to the game with you. And for some reason they don't make it in. And um, Battlefield has the same problem. And I don't know what it is with both games. Um, I don't remember past games, past titles having that problem. And so you'd think that a new title wouldn't have that problem. But they do for some reason. But anyways, guys, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about the gameplay, so don't be a uh, hating bro. Um, I am using the M4A1 with the red dot sight. Um, my kill streaks are the Assault Strike Package, and I believe I'm running UAV Predator Attack Helicopter. Not really high ones, considering I haven't unlocked a lot yet. I'm only around level 20 as of right now. Considering I didn't get the game early, which I kind of wish I did, but unfortunately I didn't get the opportunity to. But, uh, you know, as long as I got the game now, and uh, I think that's all that counts. But, um, what else am I doing in this gameplay? Um, sleight of Hand, Quick Draw, and Stalker are my perks set up. Sleight of Hand because it is the first perk you unlock. Quick Draw because I chose it over um, Overkill because I haven't found um, that perk um, useful entirely yet for me. Maybe later, but not right now. And uh, Stalker, because um, it's the first perk you unlock in that slot, besides Marksman, which I, it's not going to benefit me. So if you guys don't know what the perks do, um, I don't know where you've been living under a rock or something. But um, yeah, this right here, I believe, was um, my first, I guess, Good, uh, I guess you could say gameplay, or not great, but good gameplay of the night. Um, I, I'm a pretty low level here, considering I'm using the M4 still, because I didn't, I haven't used that for a little while now. But I pulled a pretty good gameplay. Um, this map is, oh, uh, dude, I don't remember the map name, but it's a domination, and uh, we, we were just beasting on some kids. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and tomorrow because I have the, this week off of school, so I'm gonna be able to upload some videos. Not the whole week, just two days because uh, I get some time off. But uh, that gives me a lot of time to play Modern Warfare 3. And I was thinking, um, I just watched a video from uh, X Jaws and from Fisticuffs, and they both say that they're not gonna prestige. And um, with the prestige tokens that we already have from you know past Call of Duties. We pretty much already have our creative class spots unlocked, so what else is there to really need? What, what do you get from Prestige? You don't um, get anything new. So, um, I don't know if I'm going to Prestige. I've Prestige in every Call of Duty up to today. Um, I Prestige in World at War, which was my, um, I never played that Call of Duty till about a month ago. Um, my very first Call of Duty is Modern Warfare 2. I Prestige in that. I Prestige in Black Ops. I Prestige in World at War. But I'm not sure if I'm going to Prestige in this game. Um, only time will tell, but uh, I'm not 100% on that yet. Um, this video, I'm not talking too much about the commentary because there wasn't really a skill or um, I didn't really have like a mindset for this gameplay. The reason being is I was just like, oh my god, it's a new game. I want to run and shoot. So I didn't really have too much of a strategy around here. It was just kind of watch my mini map and aim down the sights a lot and, you know, take it slow. Which I do apologize a bit for the slower gameplay, but you know, um, it's a new game and I'm really hesitant to turn corners and, you know, s s like see what's around like the, this wall and stuff like that. But um, I'll try and make the next gameplay a bit more uh, speedy, a bit more speed speedy. But um, <clears throat> some class setups that I really noticed that really work good is the UMP 45, which we already knew that was probably going to be a good gun. Um, the UMP-45 with suppressor is a really good gun, guys. Um, if you put the proficiency of the less recoil, or the kick, I believe it's called, it makes it a really good gun. So I'd re really recommend that gun for the assault rifles, um, since you guys probably aren't a higher level than me already. Unless you guys are, because you guys are beasts. I know you guys are. 
Um, I recommend the M4A1, even though it's one of the starting guns that you unlock. It's a really good gun still, but um, I haven't really dipped into the light machine guns yet because I haven't found myself too interested in them yet. Um, I've never really been a guy who uh, focuses on light machine guns because they're just not really my taste. I don't know if you guys have that same taste, but I normally stick away from light machine guns for the most part. Um, I'm more of an assault rifle slash submachine gun guy. But um, this gun actually wasn't that bad. It's like your default one, the G368 or something like that, or G6. I'm not sure what the name of it is, but it's not bad either. But my next video, guys, I'm going to try and, um, you know, give some more thoughts on the game itself. As of right now, I'm really enjoying it. Um, I haven't really stopped to see and watch other people's YouTube videos considering I've just, as soon as I got the game, I just played it like crazy. And, uh, I've, like, I just got the game, so it's like an adrenaline lot, rush, lush, uh, adrenaline rush, and I'm kind of like a kid on Christmas Eve waiting for Santa to come. Um, I'm having a hard time falling asleep, and I'm doing this commentary at 5.13 in the morning. Um, but something that I really, um, I wanted to also talk about was, um, the support kill streaks. They're not overpowered, I wouldn't say yet, uh, but... They're really, really annoying, especially when you're a low level like me and you don't have assassin. Um, because you don't unlock assassin to like 29, and I'm only like level 22, I think. But um, yeah. So um, with all these people running support, because it doesn't actually need a point streak to get it, you just need to get that certain amount of kills. With so many UAVs and um, like the Blackbirds or whatever they're called, advanced UAVs. Um, without assassin, it's really hard uh, not to do good. Like I, I shouldn't say that because that's just saying that you need assassin to do good. Um, it, the UAVs do get a bit annoying because it's just like, wow, the whole fucking enemy team knows where I'm at, and uh, it's not really not like you can do much about it because the enemy team's gonna get killed, if you like it or not, because your teammates will die a lot, and you're gonna have to deal with that. So I'd recommend uh, actually. As soon as you get Assassin, try it, and I'll try it and see if it made me uh, do any better. And if it didn't affect my gameplay whatsoever, then maybe the UAVs aren't really that bad of a thing, and I'm just exaggerating and uh, just thinking about it too much. And uh, I don't know, I'll see. But it looks like it's a really good perk, um, considering it hides you from the radar. But anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. I know I barely covered anything, and this commentary went so fast, and... I covered so little, but um, anyways guys, the final score in this gameplay I believe was a 37-6, and six, if I'm not mistaken, anyways you guys will be able to see at the end of the game, but um, tell me what you guys want to see, um, tell me if you guys want to see me go for the tactical nuke, also known as the mother of all bombs, um, the, the mob or the mob, because um, I was thinking about going for that um, today, or well tomorrow for you guys I guess. But anyways guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the commentary, leave some feedback, and peace.